actually look even better naked. You want a good time? Truth is, Pete Turner ain't been in Armadillo for near on 20 years now. Kind of a queer fella and all. Wasn't here every night. Sure as the moon in the sky. What happened to him? Well, what happens to all of us? I reckon you'll find him at Odd Fella's Rest. Yeah, that's where he'd be, I guess.
Boy, oh, you messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard! You thieving Mick cunt! You got it all wrong, Welsh! All wrong! It was French, I promise! He said he was going to rip you off! Now he's ripping me off! Yeah, keep on talking there, Irish! In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black! Yeah. What's up, boys? Oh, fuck off, boy! Oh. This don't concern you! When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boyo. Look here. This petty bastard stole our guns. Tried to steal our horses. Lost clear on the matter. Well, I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Push your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, boyo? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, boyo. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. Who the hell invited you to the party? I'm getting good at this. A Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. And since I just saved your life... Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Oh, untrustworthy. Poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> uh, what about the gun? It'd be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. All righty, my guardian. John! John Marston! Coke of luck, you came along, fella. I thought I dropped the last section there for a second. <laughs> Who are those fine specimens of humanity? They was the only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see 
bit of bastard said. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Thick as thieves ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman before, told me. And he got his boat slit, so he should go. The kind of fellows who are stealing acorn from a blind sow, and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Well, he sure speaks English, Tony. Not for now. The thieving bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish, I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. Come on! Here! Yeah. You can make quick work of those fellas if they give you trouble. Go and store it just inside that chat. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. Trust me. Seth. Hey, John. Hey, partner. You what you need? Ready to help me? Not quite. Not quite ready. You see, I wasted a bunch of time looking for that last bit of map. And I got to thinking, Moses was a liar. And I imagined myself doing all kinds of unpleasant things to his corpse. <laughs> and then I realized... You realized you were sick in the head? That you needed to move on with your own limited time on Earth? No, partner. I realized Moses were no liar. The issue was Aiden O'Leary, who said he had the body. Aiden died in that flu epidemic, and the bodies weren't even buried yet. <laughs> Got the body sitting in the back of that wagon behind you? Yes, sir. <laughs> You're not even going to wait until they're buried before you... <laughs> 
they, they don't care, do you, boys? Honest folk, off to a better place. Apart from that Aiden O'Leary fella, I never liked him. They say he lay with his sister. I don't like women, partner. I know. Not since Mama died. Seth. What are you gonna do with those bodies? I'm gonna take them back to a nice quiet spot and look for the map. I need the map, partner. I need it. I think we should be getting out of here, partner. All right. I know a secluded spot where we can search these sleeping beauties. Monster 
version. I'm gonna be rich beyond my wildest dreams. Maybe then you can take a bath. Thanks, mister. I reckon I'll sit here a while trying to figure this out. I'm gonna be rich. When you're done with that, get over to Fort Mercer. I need you inside that place. After I find my treasure, mister. It's like that, is it? Huh? Not talking to Seth today? Oh, the old silent treatment. Oh, whoa. Ah, that's quite a stint. Hey, Seth. Oh. Seth, come back here. Oh, hey, partner. I was just looking for you. Looking for me? What? Over there? Uh, how you doing? I'm good. Well, uh, see you later, partner. Where you going, partner? Nowhere. <laughs> OK. Nowhere wouldn't happen to be where that thing you're looking for is kept, would it? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Come on, partner. Okay, I was just uh, fooling. Partner, uh, you know, the thought of that treasure does funny things to me. According to the map, it's somewhere in that big abandoned house. Try around the back. Go on! We ain't got much Over time! Here. We're in luck. See the light! 
at the end of this very long, long tunnel. <laughs> Seth's gonna be rich after all these years. <laughs> it's silk sheets and Parisian whores from now on, mister. <laughs> God damn hell is this? A glass eye? Huh? I'm sure whoever that belonged to treasured it very much. <laughs> stupid liars. Those stupid chicken shit maps. Making a damn fool of me. A glass eye? Huh? It's a glass eye! Huh? Stop with the tears and help me with Williamson's gang. And you can come up with another excuse to go exhume one of your old friends. And dead man's treasure ain't done me no favors. Sure. Sure. I'm ready for the living. I'll see you and Mr. West Dickens over at Fort Mercer when you gentlemen is ready. Who do you want? I, I see you. Get away from me. Right here. Where's that machine gun, Irish? Oh, Mr. Marston. I, I found one. Found us one, Irish. We're in this together. You, me, and an assault on Fort Mercer. I'm the guy that saved you from getting killed back there. And who you owe your life to, remember? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Happens to me all the time. <laughs> you don't want it to happen to you again, do you, Irish? No, friend. I wants to buy you a drink. I wants to tell you how much she means to me, how special she is. And I want to tell you that if you don't produce a Gatling gun within the hour, you'll wish you'd been killed back there. <laughs> it's the whiskey, sir. <laughs> It gives me the memory of a newborn babe, as innocent as can be. And it 
makes me violently angry. Shall we go look for that gun, sir? <laughs> yes. Let's do that. Come on, then. Let's find some precious wood. Somewhere between dying and dead if you try to cross me again. It weren't like that at all, feller. My intentions were pure. I swear it on me poor mother's life. I just get a tad confused from time to time. Honest mistake. If there's any more confusion, I'll finish what your friends in Armadillo start. Jesus, you're an impatient bastard, aren't you? Where's the gun, Irish? I hear some miners been blabbing about a machine gun they found. Apparently, they got it stashed up at Gap Tooth Creek. What do miners want with a machine gun? Shoot it at somebody, I suppose? Or sell it? I don't know. I've never been down a mine in all my life. Sounds real fishy to me, Irish. I've just about had it with you and your game. You and Wes Dickens are so crooked, you can swallow nails and spit out corkscrew. Not fair now, Johnny. We should go around the side of Gap Coop so the miners don't see us coming. I still don't know what miners would want with a machine gun. Miners are always fighty bastards. Spend too long without daylight and dusties, and it starts playing with your mind. I never heard so much shit come out of one mouth. Only telling you what I heard. Oh, and we'll need a wagon or something to get it out of there. That gun's heavier than sin. So how was I supposed to move it by myself last time? Two-faced little bastard. Easy there. Here we are. Let's stop here a moment to get a lie of the land. The entrance is plain to see, and there's a shaft them bastards used to haul out heavy ore. We, I mean you, can use that lift to get you and the gun to the surface. I do it all myself, but the mines play havoc with me sinuses. I'll find us a fine place to hide these horses, and then return with a borrowed flat wagon. I'll meet you at the mouth of the mine shaft, and Irish, I strongly advise you don't run off this time. You must be lost, cowboy.
I'd be looking at your carps being hauled up this lip. Load up and I'll engage the gears. He is. What a beautiful weapon. God's own gun. Ain't that the truth? I got us a borrowed flat that parked down. Don't let go of her. She's a beast. now and we'll have this executive peacemaker delivered to old west dickens just make sure it doesn't fall off on the way
up, sister. Put them up. Irish, what are you doing? Who the hell are you? Give me that. I'm your old friend, Amnesia. Oh, I'm going to fly me. And I've come to tell you, if you ever pretend to forget my name or your debt to me again, I'll make sure you reach heaven before these two ladies. Now get down there. Oh, oh, oh Mr. Marston. How are you? Ashamed. Ashamed to know you. What the hell's wrong with you, robbing these gentlewomen and ladies of the Lord? I thought they was doxies. Ladies, I'm sorry about this man. He's unfortunately lost his mind to the demon drink. At least I hope he has, and he wasn't this stupid all along. So, uh, please excuse us. Now, Irish. A Gatling gun doesn't work. I find that rather upsetting, don't you? Oh, heartbreaking. Which is why I was just coming to see you when the drink got the better of me. <laughs> ah. Come on. I know where we can find the, the parts for you. Ah. Mother fucking Mary. How about a drink or two, mister? No, thank you, my dear. What you looking at? What you looking at? Huh? I can't stand to see a man walk around with such a dry pecker. Can I help? Drunk as I am, my pricks in fine working order. <laughs> what a lusty specimen you are. I like Ooh, that. That fresh air's got me head spinning like a top. Can't be good for a fella. Shut up, you lazy drunk. Before I stop your head spinning with a bullet. I resent that, Johnny. I've been working like a beaver on your behalf. You've been working like a weasel on my behalf. Bushwhacking defenseless ladies of the cloth? You must have been raised on sour milk, Irish. What are you talking about? I'm a good Catholic boy. You're a booze-blind coward. And you're a hypocrite, Marston. You've robbed just as many innocent folks as me. I tried to only rob those who had more than they deserved. Christ, the church Yo, has more money bus. than anybody. Ain't nobody that fucks with me. Where are we going, Irish? Friend, Just to the warehouse here there, in Thieves Thieves Landing. I'm telling you, Johnny boy, it's all set up. We're meeting this pal of mine at the back door of the office. Hobble-tongued feller by the name of Shaky. And he's got the ammunition we need? Jesus, stop fretting, will you? I knows about guns front, back, and sideways. You're gonna be real familiar with mine if things keep on this way. This is it. Come on, Smiler. <laughs> well, I'll be buggered. This door was supposed to be unlocked. Come on, let's see if we can get in around the back. I'm beginning to lose my patience. Think you're soft on me, Johnny boy. Can't even sneeze these days without you being there to catch the drift. This is your last chance, you good for nothing shyster. You've already wasted too much of my time. All right, we should be able to get in here. Stick with me and keep quiet. Shakey's made the arrangements, and he'll... Oh, shite. Sounds like Shakey's only gone and got himself found out. <laughs> All right. Now all we have to do is find out who you work with. You hear me? Shakey, you wretched fucking son of a whore. Suck my again! <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Labor relations don't sound like they're exactly at an all-time high. You sneak in and get poor Shaky loose. I'll go get the wagon. 
Good look, Marston. He's a good man, that Shaky. Again! <laughs> I'll be waiting out by the front gate with the wagon. Good luck. Mister, I th 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 thought I, I was dead, man. My kindness is only as good as the bullets you can fetch up for me and your friend Irish. Let me down, and you'll be a dead man. This is gonna be one hell of a fight. Let's head for the door. Follow me. That was too close to my liking. Shit, nail. French. Oh! Who next? You did. No, no, you don't. But that's it. Introduce this little bitch to your pal, Mr. Rock. I'll kill all you, you bastards. Now we're even. Half even, Shaky. You still owe me for them morphine pills to calm your nerves. Sh -sh 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 -k -k -k. <laughs> you'll, you'll get your half. More, you d d d d dirty f f f f fucking snake. Uh, b -b 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 All right, gentlemen. <laughs> Let's go. Fucking. Fuck. Oh, my virgin ears. F Come on, then, Johnny boy. Let's go. Did you have fun in there, you and Shaky? 
I killed a lot of men for this damn machine gun of yours. I'm sorry I missed all the dramas. You always miss all the drama. There must be cobwebs growing on that holster of yours. Someone's got to drive the wagon, don't they? Teamwork, Johnny boy. That's my game, not just the glory like you. Shoot those bastards! I'm gonna hit for McFarlane! enough ammunition here to take down a small country, fella. I'm gonna need it. Bill Williamson's got himself an army. So I guess this is where we part ways, Johnny Marston. Or maybe not, friend. You're gonna be right alongside me when I take on that fort. After all you put me through, it's time you pull the damn trigger for once. Show me what a big, bad killer you really are. Uh, yes, of course. What am I thinking? Don't worry, you can count on me. I just hope I don't steal all your glory. Wouldn't be right or proper. Impressive, Marston. We'll have Wes Dickens' wagon rigged and ready to go soon enough. Follow Charlie. He's a good one to sniff out trouble. Stick next to the dog, mister.
Okay. For saving me, I have a treasure map for you. Thanks, mister. I could use a little luck. Let's see what you got. John? Marshal? Gentlemen! 
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's time. We must go. Why? What's happening? Seth has managed to get himself inside. <laughs> but we can't leave it too long, or they will soon realize how very curious he is and remove him from the premises. Or slit his throat and watch him bleed to death. But for a minute, he will delight and amuse them. That's when he'll get us inside. Okay. Marshals of the law, when the shooting starts, take that as your cue to start awarding each other medals. Huh? I mean, take that as a cue to get inside and clean up the mess. Oh. All I care about is Williamson. It is vital we stop him. Agreed. That man is a stone-cold killer. Williamson's a proud fool. The question is which will win out between his pride and his instinct for survival. Ensconce yourself in the back of my wagon, John, so that we can make our grand entrance. Come on, let's go. All right, good. Now just stay put till I tell you otherwise. That scoundrel Seth had better not let us down. Once we're inside and I've lulled our adversaries into a false sense of security with some beguiling sales patter, I will give you the signal. What signal? The moment you hear a sharp rap on the side of the wagon, rise like the phoenix and start shooting like you've never shot before. This is it, my dear boy. The moment of truth. Me and you, John. One last time into the breach. This is going to have to be the performance of my life. I hope my nerves don't get the better of me. I'll be honest with you, John, I'm a little jittery. John? John? It reeks of miracles back here. Thank God. I'll be ready with that machine gun, my dear boy. I'll be a sitting duck in there. My good men, <laughs> what would you say if I said immortality was at hand? What would you say if I told you I could teach you to fly? <laughs> what would you say if I told you I could turn a man into a beautiful woman? <laughs> Impossible, yes, once, but no more. Gentlemen, I bring you wisdom from the East. I have here in this wagon some of the finest goods, the best medicines, and the newest inventions available for you and your families. Exotic trinkets from the far reaches of the earth, elixirs that give vigor and strength. <laughs> and uh, for you men of physical skill and athletic physique, uh, this miraculous elixir can keep the muscles supple and relax the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of vigor and freshness to the whole system. Why, some men have reported to me that after drinking it for one month, they can chew through steel. <laughs> what the hell? It's a trap! Yeah! Here we go! Take them down!
a dang pig. Them cock sucking some bitches escaped the other side of the fort. All right, let's go. Let's find those bastards. Um, we still can't find Williamson anywhere. Hey, it's the snake oil guy! General Adam, let me in, for goodness sake! That fool must be hiding. Man, it is time to start tearing this place apart and find out where he's cowering! You've got a sense of urgency here, please! Open the gate! It's the snake oil guy! Oh, what Get the, the goddamn gate open and lock it behind him! Oh, we've got company, gentlemen. These scoundrels have got reinforcements riding this way. Oh, my good lord above. There must be a hundred of them. Mr. Marston, we got a live one. He says, Bill's already run off to Mexico yesterday morning. <laughs> You'll never get him. Javier Escuela. He's gone to see Javier Escuela. That should make things interesting. Where in Mexico? How should I know? Oh! <laughs> Where in Mexico, you little shit? <laughs> Some place near Chuparos. I think he said. Bandit country. Chupa feckin' Rosa. Oh, I'll take you there, John. I'm real popular down there. You just meet me at the ferry. I've got lots of friends down south. I'll see you at the ferry, Irish. I'll just get me things. 
I'm sorry about this, John. Well, I guess you'll be heading to Mexico. So it would seem. How is it down there? Wonderful. A sweet, peace-loving people with a love of social justice. May you always find coin in your pocket. It's been a pleasure spending time with you, boy. You too, Mr. West Dickens. Marshal. All right, boys. That's enough. This ain't nice, I know. <laughs> yes, well, that's what makes you such an interesting fellow, Mr. Irish. <laughs> ah, Mr. Marston, I've come to wish you well. How are you, sir? I'm okay. It seems that our friend Mr. Irish here is well connected south of the border. Oh, it's true. Uh, they love me down there. It's like a second home. I've got more friends than you could shake a stick at, should you so desire. So you know the way. Oh, it's easy. We just get on me raft here and let the current sweep us away to paradise. Come on, then, Dobby. I'm not sure your idea of paradise and mine are quite the same, Irish. Relax. We'll have a great time and we'll find your man Williamson no bother. I hope so. Hey, come on now. Look at it this way. I know we ain't exactly old pals, but, you know, have I ever done you wrong? No. But not through lack of trying. Hey! Well, you boys have fun down there. I shall miss you, Jonathan. Thank you. Where are you headed? You know me. Oh, um, London or Paris or, uh, or maybe Peking. I'm a traveling man, sir. This land is much too small for the likes of me. <laughs> well, try not to get yourself killed. Oh, well, yes. We men of science are not a very loved bunch in this land of myth and superstition. I'm off to the civilized world where men like myself are revered and given medals. Ha! Hmm. Have fun. The same to you, sir. The same to you. <laughs> Nice of you to turn up for once, Irish. What do you mean? In usual fashion, you conveniently missed all the action of Fort Mercer. What can I say? I woke up with me head in a pair of tits, and it felt ill-mannered not to get reacquainted with you. At least you got your priorities straight. You know me, Johnny boy. I'll be late to me own funeral. They say God invented whiskey to stop the Irish from ruling the world. Well, you're here now. Look out, bandits! Nara! I've warned you, set your head down! I should have probably mentioned there's a bounty or two out of your head in Mexico. Let's go with the river. <laughs> 
Just you'll have to stop chasing us eventually. You must be taking up another Irish fella. Hey, there's more ammunition in the box at the back of the raft. For the love of God! You ain't getting another penny out of me! I was expecting. They're not ones to forgive and forget, these fellas. I'm going to hand it on to you! What the hell did you do to these fellas? Your so-called friends have nearly got me killed. I thought you said they loved you over here. They do. At least the lassies do. Oh, them big brown eyes. Turn stone into butter, they would. And the Mexicans know how to make a bottle of liquor, too. What, that poke? <laughs> now there's a drink as would take the frost out of a frosty morning. Oh, you're going to have some fun. I'm just here for Bill Williams. Well, I'm glad to be back. This place is a wild devil's paradise. Apart from the fellas trying to kill you. Down here they call me El Rato, the cat, on account of me stealth and cunning. I'm pretty sure Rato means rat, my friend. I like it, though. A little more inventive than Irish. Well, you Americans never were very creative with your use of language, was you, John Marston? <laughs> Damn murder, sons of bitches! Fight that rock! Come on, man! We're almost gone! There it is! Bloody Nara! Now chasers! I haven't stepped foot in this. 
this country, and they're already trying to kill me. Well, you will insist on fraternizing with the notorious Irish Jews. I want that money perish! Johnny boy, I really will. I doubt you'll remember any of it, Irish. There's a beach coming up on the left. Hang on, we'll be on dry land soon. God damn it, there's another two! Good to the Lord here! We made it, thank the Lord. I'm glad to be getting out of that boat in death. These horses look fresher <laughs> and healthy. <laughs> Before you degrade these poor fools any further, tell me where I'm headed. Of course, of course. Let me think. You do know people down here, aside from your friends who welcomed us on the way. Yes, I think so. <laughs> I was real drunk last time I was here, John. You know how it is. I, I, I met an American guy, uh, saw him shoot a man, 
drank with him in the village of Chuparosa. Funny guy. <laughs> uh, or was that Canada? No, that was Canada. Guy here, not funny, but he's real nice. Uh, failing that, you could try the provincial governor, uh, Colonel something or other, some Spanish name. He's based out of Escalera. I uh, played three-card stud with him. Or was it four-card Monty? I forget. He was a real nice chap. Or maybe he was a real bastard. <laughs> I was real drunk last time, John. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your help. Oh, let me guess. You gotta be on your way. <sighs> the famed hospitality isn't what it once was. And I've never been known to overstay me welcome. So off I go to greener pastures. Good luck, John. You're an angry and a fat, ugly man. But not a bad one. Trust me, amigo, he will be fine. Just domesticate him. <laughs> Todo de altísima calidad. Te doy mi palabra. Come on! Relax! Just calm yourself. I got you now. Relax! ¿Qué pasó con el otro? No interrumpas, pendejo, la deja en la casa. Y les digo, de aquí para acá, chingan a su madre. ¿Qué? ¿Y qué no, nos trae ese güey? Y de aquí para acá, son pendejos. ¡Eh, hey, gringo! ¿Hablas español? No, sir. Mm. Pardon, pero... Yo habla un solo poquito español. <laughs> poquito. Habla inglés. <laughs> oh, sí, gringo. Hablo mucho inglés. Sí. Hablo filthy fucking bean eater. Hablo slippery little Mexican. Oh. Hablo little piece of shit. Shit. <laughs> Comprende, amigo. Comprende. <laughs> hey, what are you doing here, gringo? 
I don't remember inviting you to my country. I don't think you did, amigo. I mean you no harm. <laughs> <laughs> you mean us no harm? This is funny. <laughs> what harm could you do to us exactly? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, amigo. Now, I appreciate the welcome committee, but I'd hate to spoil a beautiful afternoon on such beautiful land, any further unpleasantries. Now, if you'll excuse me. Uh, holy gringo, I think you're forgetting something. A little taxation. <laughs> <laughs> I have a large family. <laughs> I, too, have a family friend. So that we may see our families again, I suggest we part ways amicably. <laughs> can I see the boots, gringo? I think you can see them from where you're standing just fine, senor. Take off the boots, americano. As you wish. <laughs> Oh, very good. Very good indeed, sir. What a great way to improve border relations. An illiterate farmer crossing the river, coming into their civilization and butchering the local peasants. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Don't mention it, old man. You kill peasants, you become a peasant. I never aspired to be anything more. <laughs> A socialist, huh? No wonder you left America. How many things? Most of them bad. But a man of political principles? No. Well, then I fear Mexico may not be for you, sir. Don't you worry about me. Oh, but I do worry. An angry man a long way from home? A man who handles a gun as sloppy as you? I can handle a gun okay, partner. Yeah, as long as you're killing quail or peasants. But if you have to face another man, you don't stand a chance. And you do? I can show you a few tricks. Come with me. Hold on. What's your name? Uh, that doesn't matter anymore. And you? I never had a name, mister. I was raised in an orphanage. <laughs> a real American, huh? Wonderful. Just wonderful. <laughs> Well, you won't make it in the circus, but you can shoot. Keep on practicing. Thank you, old man. Now, who are you? No one interesting. Who are you? Landon Ricketts. Not a name that means much anymore. It means a little. You were famous when I was a boy. Yeah, killing men's a strange kind of fame. I was the fastest in my time. I must have been. I'm the only one left. What are you doing here? Living quietly. Waiting. For what? I don't know. And you? I'm looking for a couple of men. Bill Williamson, Javier Escuela. <sighs> Escuela's from here. It could be. This whole place is teeming with a... With Americans on the run, mercenaries, locals hell-bent on revolution. Revolution? Another one? Yeah. Never really ends. This whole place has been a hotbed for revolution since before the Spanish left. Now there's another local guy running around promising the peasants their freedom. Ah, just like the last two or three. Local government? Foul bunch. Colonel Allende, he runs this place like a feudal king. He's an awful individual. Is that so? Yeah. Until someone puts a bullet in his head. Come on, let's get back to it. You gotta keep that back straight. Otherwise, it makes the gun jump. See if this Schofield makes a difference. Now, that's a real gun. Now 
That wasn't so hard, was it? Follow me. We're gonna try something a little more challenging. The birds around here are always raising hell, scavenging and scaring the life out of the locals. I say we put your newfound skills to the test while doing a public service for the good people of Chuparosa. Here we'll do. I'm gonna scare up some birds. Let's see if you can take down more than one at a time. Señor Ricketts! Señor Ricketts! Señor Ricketts! Señor Ricketts! Por favor, señor. Our back wagon's under attack just outside of town. We need your help again. Whoa, slow down, Ramon. We'll take care of it. Thank you, señor. Again, you are the savior of this town. Well, my friend, are you ready to take a less theoretical exam? Sure. I don't think I ever rode with no savior before. <laughs> Let's haul out. Time we put you to work on some bigger prey. ride together. We was all friends once. Only a buzzard feeds on his friends. There must be a high bounty on their heads. What would you do if somebody took the people you love and told you they'd die if you didn't do as they asked? I'd show them what a big mistake they'd made. There they are. Follow me. All right, let's move out. Everybody stay alert. Sano y salvo. Nunca podré agradecer lo suficiente. Buy me a whiskey later, and we'll call things about even. Come on! 
Hey, partner. Cualquier problema se lo resuelvo a la orden. Fantástico. Gracias por sus negocios. Habrá guerra en Europa. Nadie aprecia el arte aquí. Gracias por informar. That's enough, friend. Que tenga usted un día emocionante. ¿Cómo te va? Thank you. Lamentablemente, tengo que despedir. Hasta la próxima. Adiós. Hasta la próxima. ¿Dónde quiere que ponga las provisiones, jefe? You like money, americano? Sit down. Maybe you win. Muy interesante. Gracias, amigos. Mr. Marston, how the devil are you? I'm fine. How are you, Mr. Ricketts? I'm good. I'm glad you're here because these men were just telling me about Mr. Escuela. Javier Escuela? Emilio, let me ask you something. His nombre is Javier Señor Escuela? Is Javier to see? No sé, señor. <sighs> he doesn't know. I got that bit. Ask him, was he about five foot eight? Mustache? Did he have an American in tow? A big American? Emilio, the Stabacon, uh, Grande Americano? Yo no sé. No. Ag again, I got that. But they do have his sister. Emilio's, I mean. She's a fine young woman, a teacher, a human being. Not the clothed vermin so many people seem to have turned into. Tell him I'm sorry. When a man's family is involved, you need a little more enthusiasm than mere apologies. I have enough worries, sir. This man's problems pain me, but they're not quite my own. Those who sit on the fence make a choice in their own way. Don't you think, Mr. Marston? Of course. And what about you, Ricketts? A man living in the past? Man who ran away from home? What choice did you make? I'll tell you what choice I made. I'm a fighter, sir, and I'll fight to the end. I think we should get going. I'm gonna take the train. You can come with me or ride ahead to El Matadero. Oigo que esta cosa entre Reyes y Allende se ha puesto fea. I've been hearing some things about you, John Marshall. It's the only way to travel, so they keep telling me. We'll get off at Casa Madrugada and ride from there. Come on, 
Horses are over here. Come on, first stop, El Matadero. Come! Easy. We need to find a man called Carlos. I was told he could help us. We'll ask around when we get there. But we don't want to draw attention. See if you can keep your gun holstered for once. You're the hero around here, Mr. Ricketts. Not me. What does the army want with this Luisa girl, anyway? She's a rebel, and apparently close to their leader, Reyes. She's a pretty young thing. That's normally reason enough for Alinde. So I've heard. She's a good woman, a teacher. If they lay a finger on her, I swear I'll feed those bastards their balls. Here we are. Looks kind of sleepy, don't it? Whoa! All right, let's find this Carlos guy. Carlos. See? Si. We're here for Luisa. Is she still being held up in the caves? Yes. She's still up there. Who's the cowboy? We're here to help. Mm, muy bien. I can distract the guards. You and the gringo can get inside. Let's do it. I will keep them talking, senor. The rest I will leave to you. All right, let's find Luisa. Looks like we might need a little dynamite to get it open. Keep watch while I get it ready. My lord! Stand back, damn it! Here goes!
Come on, boy! Poor girl's barely alive. Right, let's see if we can all get out of here in one piece. Looks like Carlos left us some horses. Come on! Huh. Let's go before any more of them show up. doesn't feel right here. Thank you for saving me. You're a good man. Friends of the people of this land. Was someone named Harvey Esquela one of the men holding you? No. I don't know. I don't think so. But I remember that name from prison. Bad people spoke of him. I told you John, he's still in Mexico. Okay, then. I guess we'll keep looking.
Hermoso, goza conmigo un ratito. ¿Dónde quiere que ponga las provisiones? Un día voy a desenterrar un día el tesoro a... legendario del río del Toro. Sabes que el banco fue robado por los rebeldes. Hubo un gran tiroteo con el ejército. Hey amigo, you wanna make some money? Ven conmigo. No need for that, partner. They're delivering provisions to the market. You steal one of the wagons, I give you good money. You best be ready to pay up. I'm a reformed man. No doubt about it. Mira esta sinvergüenza. You have money, but no shame. Como te va? Hola!
Come on, Abel, and don't make this. Era un campesino. Ejército. Ya basta con tu maldito chico. Encuentro este cabrón. 